All right, this is the 6th of February, 2018, Engaging in Heaven's Realms group. And we're coming together and engaging in our hearts to unify together as one, knowing that we are of one spirit in one heart in one mind. And we have been made one through Jesus. And he's opened up the way for us to bring us into heaven. And Father has seated us in heavenly places. Um, so we just agree with that. We uh, come in through Jesus and the blood that he shed for us as the door. He is the door for us and has become the door for us to be in heaven. And we just acknowledge that. We agree with that. And we agree with the fact that our, um, our whole being, spirit, soul, and body is surrendered to the government of Holy Spirit, that we as the children of the Lord now are able to see and hear and know and experience, taste, touch, feel the atmospheres, the revelations, the, the, the places, and the, the relationships in heaven. And so we come uh, together to you, Jesus. Thank you so much for what you've done to bring us into heaven. We come to hear, see, and enjoy and experience all that you have for us today. We just remember and honor everyone as equal to be able to give um, whatever they see. We just agree that you're free, and that we welcome what you have to share, and that it all melts together as one and brings a true revelations Holy Spirit wants to reveal. Um, we are not concerned about waiting because we are engaging, so we don't mind having a time without speaking. Just remember to put your mics on when you speak. So, yeah. Okay, Judy says she's seeing children playing outside, just running around, having a good time playing outside. I'm seeing the um, above the children's like rain, but it's um, different color um, particles coming down. It's all the rainbow particles. It's a very sunny happy place. Okay, Judy says she's reminded of a, of a story um, of, of, because Willem said with the rainbow, thinking about rain, um, and everybody's running to their cars to take cover, and uh, the little girl stays outside because they told her that Jesus needs to wash you clean, and she says, and the rain is there to wash me clean. So uh, she's not going to take cover. She's going to stand outside in the rain so Jesus can wash her clean.
<laughs> so I'm seeing the celebration in the rain. I'm just seeing the dancing around in the rain and um, and uh, I'm just seeing people put their, uh, turn their heads up and just uh, drink the rain as well. Um, it's a deep refreshing, as well as the joy, the atmospheres of joy in his presence is fullness of joy. <laughs> <laughs> I confirm. Okay, Elsby um, confirms Michelle that she also saw the rain. Um, she just had the song uh, and with the dancing. And then she was just reminded of that song uh, I'm singing in the rain. Mm -hmm. And it just uh, speaks of such freedom. The rain just washes away any burdens. It's just like releases. There's the freedom. There's such liberty. So, Father, we just thank you for that bucket of rain <laughs> that you're releasing over us. I don't know how the rest of the song goes, but it's like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I see we have company in the rain. <laughs> there, there are many others in the rain with us. I see some angels. I see some men in white linen with us. Mm -hmm. I see Elijah. You know, Elijah was the one who called the rain down. I see Elijah with us. <laughs> yeah. I just saw him say, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you, Elijah. We, we acknowledge you. We welcome you. <laughs> the most amazing thing to me is that heaven's so full of fun that none of the cloud of witnesses or the men in white linen are somber at all. It's such a sense of joy and liberty. Mm hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. This, this joy is contagious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a sense this we're supposed to redirect this rain to the nations. Like what uh, uh, Frederick was saying earlier on, like um, they are asking and praying for rain. A sense is like we're supposed to let this rain pass through us as gates to the nations. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on one sec. Uh, um, Addie says, I can, I, see, I can see children playing in a near fountain of living water. Adults are there as well. Yeah. I'm just, just as you're reading what Adi says, the um, the the uh, river, the fountain of of living water. Again, yeah. thinking that the the river of life flows uh, flowed through Eden through the garden, and then split into the four heads and fell onto the earth. So again, sending yeah. that river that rain um, to the nations. Yes, and uh, Reese has agreed with patience too. So. Um, so in this, what we're doing is actually we're releasing the joy and the dance with the rain, right? Because the rain is not just refreshing the earth and it pours its rain down on the just and the unjust. So we have the governmental right to do this. Yes. It's a way of the Lord. But um, it, with it goes the refreshing the people. 
not just the water in the earth, but the refreshing to the soul, the refreshing of joy, the refreshing of dance. Yes, yes. And I even hear is a supply of the spirit. Yes, yes. Everything you need is in the rain. Woo-hoo. I'm ready to release that. Are you? Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, Michelle, what? I'm also I think, reminded of Isaiah 55 that says, that even as the rain waters the earth, um, the words of God's words will not return void unto him, but will fulfill that which he does, uh, what he sent it out to do. And then also when you were speaking about the refreshing, um, also Psalm 23 that says he restores my soul. So even as the rain refreshes the, the earth, there's also a refreshing of the soul uh, because of the, you know, the dryness and the heat and everything that is, is, is replaced by the, the refreshing of the rain. So... Um, I think also believe uh, along with the earth thing, but it's also a soul thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And F- Frederick, when you said that, what I heard is that the rain is coming upon every seed you have sown, even forgotten seed. Mm. There shall be a rising up, hallelujah, mm-hmm. and a springing up. Mm-hmm. And Adi says, a never ending supply by the Holy Spirit, a never ending supply and refreshment. Let's engage for that. Yes. Uh huh. To be an establishment of uh, this isn't just a one-time thing. This is a release that would 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 um would carries it carries the joy, it carries the refreshing, it carries the strength, it, it carries the dance, uh, it carries that into into uh, to establish in that area, in 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 Cape Town. I don't know where else it is, but. That's one area, right? And, and everywhere yeah. else, yeah. there is dryness. Yes. Not even just the dryness of the earth, but the dryness of the soul. Yes. 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 And, and for the whole continent, Africa and Europe, in, in South Africa, obviously, our crisis one is, is the Western Cape. But like yeah. patients, for the whole continent and Europe, yes. um, yeah, a, a refreshing of the earth and also a refreshing of the soul. Yes. Mm. And when it comes to, oh, sorry, when you finish. Now carry on. You see, when it comes to refreshing of the soul, every Tom, Dick, and Harry needs it. <laughs> <laughs> every John, every Nancy, every Hannah, every Grace, everybody needs this refreshing of the soul because we go through a lot in this physical earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, this, I think this is a long shot, but um, I'm just sensing, you know, the dryness with a lot of times with, with drought and, and that just severe dryness, there, there's a despondency, there's a, a, you know, a, a, a sense of no hope. So that even with this rain, the soul, again, on the earth, physically, in the natural, but also on, onto the soul, that there will be, uh, that this refreshing rain will restore hope. Mm. Uh, because again, without hope, you can't have faith, and without faith, you cannot have love. So mm-hmm. uh, faith works by love. So yeah, we need all three. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. And it, and it brings the joy and the peace that we were even seeing before we saw that Elijah was there. When he, he, he called the rain down, look at how he changed the whole, uh, the whole uh, area. People had food again. They were happy again. Mm. And I see that this, uh, whenever we're doing something and releasing it out of heaven, what we're doing is we're actually... Uh, creating the the um, the flow so that uh, it can be as uh, Adi said a never ending supply there. It's it's like we re- we just releasing something into the earth that would be um, established. So it's not a one time thing like oh we got rain it was wonderful now what you know but it's actually establishing something of heaven into that place that's going to spring up and cause them to understand the never ending supply of heaven. That it's going to be grasped in the hearts of the people that you don't just hope for one thing, but hope provides the results for eternity for every blessing. And that is going to start um, um, uh, the ball rolling. Amen. Amen for a revelation and a, and, a, and a confirmation and an agreement that this is not just a one-time thing for us. The Lord is showing us the dance and the joy and the strength and revealing the never-ending supply of it. 
So I would like to put in that water that we're going to throw um, uh, over. I'm going to want to put never-ending supply. Hallelujah. You know, you know what I was seeing when you were talking? Michelle, I was seeing the, the, the widow who had um, oil and she was supposed to pour. And it never stopped until she ran out of bowls. Never-ending supply. Yes. There will always be supply of the Spirit. Yes. It will never stop until we stop being the, the, the containers. But we are, we are containers forever to the Lord's glory. Mm-hmm. The water that's been poured out that becomes the rain has got leaves in it, and the leaves are falling to the earth to restore the nations. Oh, man. Ah. So it has that healing, and it has the healing for traumas and so on. Ah. Yeah, it's a tree of life. And for broken relationships to be restored. <laughs> yeah. And and every every fruit every month has a new fruit. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And, and I hear this this word that is bringing the prodigals home. The prodigals mm-hmm. are coming home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This water is everything. It's a living water. The river of life. Mm-hmm. It's Jesus himself. Mm. He said, if you are thirsty, you drink me, you will never be thirsty anymore. You yeah. won't taste again. Mm-hmm. We put all these things into this water. This is what we are wanting to, um, you know, put in the water in this bucket so that these things we're saying will be released as we turn that water bucket over. And, and, and we're, just re- we're just flowing as the gates to bless what's already been given in heaven uh, as these gates, right? For the yes, weariness man. and the dryness in the earth. Amen. And for, for brokenhearted people. For the heads. Yes. And uh, Adi says, leaves for the healing of the nations to release God's dynamic DNA, fullness, and everything. The source, the word, yeah. All that goes into this. <laughs> I'm telling you. And, and, and I'm reminded of the verse in Corinthians that says um, it's, it, it, the natural comes first, then the spiritual. So again, even as, it, as, as this rain manifests over the nations, um, in the natural, that it would also manifest over the nations in the spiritual, and as you say, in the soul dimension as well. You know what? Also, I saw when we were um, when we were first of all just um, in, in experiencing the rain ourselves, and um, and then patients saw um, Elijah and the angels and others from the Menuhat and coming and joining in. And I had earlier somebody said they saw. Um, colors in the rain i think it was villain and i saw at that time the seven spirits amen lord mm. and how they um, minister to us and so i see that's also all part of obviously we know um what heaven has and in the rain is the rain of that revelation that the seven spirits who they are what their purpose is you know which is be released Mm-hmm. Lots of people. Yes. Um, patients, uh, Renetta has written in the chat, also feel like asking the angels to stir the waters before releasing it with what they have uh, to deposit in it too. Um, and and I, just as you were speaking, I was just seeing this, that, that, that pot, that bucket, whatever it is, as a, as a huge teapot that was just drawing, you know, it was just... Uh, I'm I'm not English, but um, you know, drawing like a good strong cup of tea, um, <laughs> all of these attributes and, and things um, before it gets thrown out. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. As uh, as we speak, um, every time we we call a place, I see these uh, cloud riders taking the clouds that bring the rain to that area. So we must be aware that what we speak 
actually activates mm. where this rain is going and where this is being poured. Yes, yes, that's a good point. Adi, I think that addresses your question about the angels. Um, just to add that in there as well. So as we re <clears throat> as we um, turn that bucket over, um, then we would and and to release it, then the angels will also take it to the various places. And you feel, yes. Willem, that we should name places. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and, and what I, I I heard was as we name the places, we are opening the city gates. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is the, those, the believers in the areas. Mm -hmm. Gates. They're the gates. Yeah, so they will receive it and it will uh -huh. pass through them. Adi says, uh, okay, uh, Renette uh, also feels uh, the golden oil dripping into the water. Ooh, oh. beautiful. Uh -huh. The golden oil dripping into the water. Mm. Golden or gold is, is the best conductor of light electricity. And that's the gold that is in us, the light, the light of God in us too. Mm -hmm. mm. And the oil, the oil is that union. That oil is uh, uh, just uh, smooths things over and brings a sense of peace and, and, and clarity and, and um communion for one another and, and michelle i hear when when gold oil and water mix it's a high frequency yes because gold conducts the electrical and water conducts the frequency of the sound mm. it's a three strand cord so that's not easily broken hallelujah gold oil and water yes and, and also, just before we, we go to, to what Adi has written, is that you know, the Bible says that it is the anointing or the fatness, the oil that breaks the yoke. Yes. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, Adi said, I believe God's latter day reign has already started. God calls his saints to finally become those manifest sons and daughters in this generation who rule and reign now doing the works of Jesus and greater at last. Yes, that's it. <laughs> um, and, and I think in, in answer to Reese's question, are we, are we mentioning the area or the nations? I think if there are specific areas that we know of, as I say, in South Africa, the Western Cape or the uh, Cape Town is, is, in a, is in a crisis at the moment. But also in terms of nations, personally, I don't know about um, droughts or, or dry stuff in, in other nations. So I think it's, it's a bit of both. We can, um, we can name nations and then we can also name specific areas we're aware of. And I think... Uh, um we can name them for specific physical rain and for any other need that they have, we don't even know. Uh -huh. Because it's for the healing of the nations, remember? It's for the supply of the spirit, remember? Yeah. Every nation has a need, maybe physical, uh -huh. emotional, psychological, political. It could be any type of need. This water supplies. So uh -huh. every nation needs this water. And every nation has somebody who believes Christ, who is a Christian. So who can be a gate? Yeah. yeah. It's good. Yes. I agree with you, Christ. Amen. Amen, sister. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, the glory riders can dis dispense as, as, they, as, they need is, as the need is identified, as they see the need. Yeah. yeah. We'll agree with that. Yeah. Right. Mm. That is the place that we agree the angels will function and take it, um, that they'll have that part to, to accomplish, to do their part to take it to the different places. Um, mm. According to what we have put it in, the, what we have received here and are uh, agreeing with is in the 
water buckets, um, mm. they will carry it. Mm. Um, we understand that the Father has drawn the whole nation of all the earth into his heart. Not one person is left out. So, yeah. You know, we do understand that. Um, yeah. Whoa. Wow. Anything else um, from anybody before we do anything about this? Michelle, you know what I'm seeing? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the flashing lights we saw earlier on. Uh -huh. As the four, it forms the four points. And the line in the middle opens like a door. And the angels come through our back and come out of that. Yes. And we pull them out through that gate. That flashing, you know, the 12 stones flashing lights. Yeah. 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 So the water is coming out. It's coming out as water, as angels, and as flashing lights. Yes. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Shall I take a moment to give an explanation of that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. Uh, okay. Uh, in, our, uh, in our bench earlier, with the patients, Frederick and myself, for engaging in heaven's realms, um, we, were, we were shown how we, go, how we govern, how we have the authority to govern out of heaven. Mm -hmm. We were shown that uh, we are in the name which is yad He vav He, because we are the Shin, which is yad He Shin vav He, which it means the Shin means Jesus, is Jesus. And so we have been placed in Christ in the name of God. We are yeah. a part of him. And as those given authority in the earth, um, we can only release government from heaven when we are in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as part of them. The, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit don't do things outside of us when it comes to the earth because dominion was given by them to us. And we can't do anything outside of being in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So if you can imagine this, there is a window, it is, or a shaft, but it is four-sided, like a square. Mm -hmm. And on the one side you have Father, then you have, on one point you have Father, then the next is Son, then the next is Holy Spirit, and then the next is us. Okay, so um, the full supply of, 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 of heaven is, is found in the government of God. So it's simple, but we, we, when we look at the government, it's 12, right? The yes. The government is 12. So with, a, with, with Jesus, we have the way, the truth, and the life. That's three. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, we have righteousness, peace, and joy. And with the Father, we have judgment, justice, and holiness. And then with us, we have spirit, soul, and body coming into alignment with all of that. That's how we are in the name of God. That's how we are a part of the Godhead. And we then form 12. But when we look at the one corner, which is us, we are one. We are all one, one person, <laughs> one body, one. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we form the fourth corner. So we agree that we are, uh, you know, a part of the way, the truth, and the life, righteousness, peace, and joy, judgment, justice, and holiness, and we embrace that, then, then we are then part of the government of God to carry out a governmental act into the earth, like we want to do now. Mm -hmm. so, and we want to be a part of that window to release out of heaven this bucket of stuff. And it's part of the government of God. And so we, Patience was just saying, I believe, that in that water is the revelation of the way, the truth, and the life, righteousness, peace, and joy, judgment, justice, and holiness. Is that correct, Patience? Yes, yes. Yeah, so that, and, and, and so 
if we can see that, it's really helpful to understand how God has included us and how vitally we are a part of all that goes on in the earth from heaven. Amen. And it's like, it's not complete without us. Right. Our, our fourth point is needed to, to become the door, the governmental uh, setup of, of the Godhead. Right. That's what he said, we are the gate of heaven's supply, the river, the presence, you know, the never-ending supply. In heaven, we, the ecclesia, are, are the gate that, uh, that opens that, that governmental, um, that governmental uh, window and releases, we release heaven out of that. Yeah. Is anything from heaven outside of the government of God? Amen. Um, j- just, I just want to add something, just to be totally funny and and mm-hmm. uh, just to to trigger something. Um, we are the missing link. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That is why He created Adam to have a door to uh, to pour through to to to. He said. Um, Fill the earth to put uh-huh. and fill the earth. So yeah. when Adam, Adam messed up, he 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 brought his son Jesus Christ as the other door. That is why he said, "I am the door." And as he is, so are we. So he's the door of the doors, and we are the doors. Yes. Let's just take a minute to um, embrace this all. And I want to say, if anybody is not talking with us as to this point, please speak up. We are a body. We don't want to leave anybody behind. That's why it's lion, eagle, ox, or lion, lion, ox, eagle, man. That's the fourth one. Perfect, Willem. I'm, I'm following. I might be quiet, but I'm following. Okay. Thank you for speaking up. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I I just want to read um, Adi's last comment. Um, It was, we are the gate of heaven's supply of heavens, uh, of the river and the presence for uh, for the nations. Lift up your heads, our ancient doors. Lift up your heads. Mm-hmm. Your gates. You are gate. Mm-hmm. So we are the ancient gates. We are, we are lifting up and, our heads. And yeah. door. Mm-hmm. And door. Mm-hmm. You know, it's interesting what's come to me right now. The gates are the place where at the gates there were judgments made. At the gates was where um, at the gates was where uh, um, you could say cases were decided. It is the place where uh, the elders, the elders sits. Yeah, and made and made judgments as to what could go into the gates and what could come out of the gates. Mm-hmm. At the door, was, the door was the place that opened up so that things could go go in and out as a flow. But at the gates was more of a place where there was uh, judging taking place. Okay. Yeah. So we are gates, and there's a place as as a gate. I see as, as like a place that we we are judges. We judge. We guard our hearts. We judge what you know. There's we are part of the judging, uh, the justice of God. And then yes. doors, we are like the supply of like the rivers and just the releases of things, just like the flow out. And, you know, <clears throat> and it's interesting that we are everlasting and we are ancient because we are from the Father. Mm-hmm. Everlasting doors. Mm-hmm. And and the father's attribute is judgment. So at the gate, right? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is also why even our own gates are places of judgment to be cleansed and to be freed and to be uh, open, you know, um, and to discern. And the place of gates is where discerning uh, takes place. It's, it's just how it, it was, um, you know, in the Hebrew culture. Lift up your heads, O you gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? the Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. Amen. Amen. Um, Michelle, as you were giving that description, I, I don't know if it's completely relevant, but maybe just for me to grasp is, I'm seeing the, uh, a, a huge gate, like you know, the ancient door, but uh, I don't know, other places in South Africa, we've got security gates, we've got the sliding gate that the vehicles can come in. But then inside that gate, there's a smaller little gate that usually just opens with a key that people walk through. You know? So there's a gate in the big gate. There's a gate inside the everlasting door. So like you say, the, the small gate, the eye of the needle, where you know, comes, comes in with introspection and all that type of stuff. And then when there's a real flow, where there's volume, um, then you open the big gate. Because those are for the big boys. Hmm. No wonder, it's quite interesting because no wonder why there, there could be so much contention around these gates because the enemy knows that when these gates are opened, the game is, <laughs> the game is walked over, it's finished, the acceleration is just over, more so than ever. Yes, I agree with you, uh, idea it's game over, yeah. Yes. And there's a real fierce battle going on for control of these gates. There really is, big time. Uh -huh. So let's put this in, uh, into the, and see that we've put this also into the bucket of water, right? All that we're en engaging here is going into the bucket of water. So for the revelation that we are these gates, Revelation that we are this door, revelation of in, embracing government of heaven and functioning to release heaven and the earth. All these things is going into the water as we're speaking it, is going into the water, the bucket of water. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> yeah. You know, just to come back to the gates again, um, and what Adi said, I just, I'm just seeing the uh, absolute importance of the revelation of what we are as a gate and the absolute importance of understanding the openings of the gates that we have to to not 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 only to let to let not only for it to flow out but to for it to flow into for heaven to flow into our gates to flow out from us that these these gates the eye gate the ear gate the taste the smell the touch the conscience, the memory, the imagination, mm. love, uh, all these aspects of the spirit, soul, and body of us and the gates associated with that causes us to, um, is all those places where the judgment and justice 
and holiness of the Father must meet in our gates. Yes. And so we, um, yeah, it is all so good because the, that releases burdens, it releases lies, it releases obstructions, confusion. It just brings a release when we stand and receive the, that place of uh, what takes place at the gates. Judgment takes place at the gates. Yeah. so that our gates are released so and free flow. So we are, we are receiving the Father's judgment at the gates. Yes. yes. That's why there is no condemnation for us. Exactly. It just breaks things open for us. Amen. And it's not a burdensome thing. It's just that it's it's just part of it's just part of the the um the life, you know, the release of life, abundant everlasting life to us and through us. Yes. And, and Michelle, even as you've mentioned the three the three of the Father, uh, uh, justice, judgment and, and holiness, I also just get a sense that you know, the three of Jesus, um, the way, the truth, the life, is uh, are also guardians. Uh, are also go on the, uh, the, those gates need to be filled with. Uh, I don't have the language for this, thing, but even the, the attributes of the Holy Spirit, righteousness, peace, and joy, need to be in those gates. Um, the way, the truth, the life need to be in those gates. The justice, the judgment, and the, and the holiness of God also needs to be in those gates. All of those, and then we are the spirit, soul, and body gates. So there again is the, the all twelve of them mixed in this awesome brew of tea awesome absolutely. heavenly brew absolutely absolutely that's that's perfect frederick mm -hmm. and, and this has a, a wisdom like the wisdom mix mix a uh, wine i see the same thing it's a mixture mm. It's a mixture. Everything that is needed is in this this water. Mm -hmm. This tea, as Frederick would say, Frederick says he's not English, but he's talking about tea too much. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have the, the, the etiquette, but yeah, there's this amazing brew. <laughs> <laughs> this brew is gold, uh -huh. oil, and water, and tea. You know everything in the tea. I'm coming for for tea, Frederick. I'm coming You're for tea. Well, put on the kettle. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm smelling frankincense where I'm sitting at. Wow. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, we have oil. Ah, we have gold. We have frankincense. Now we need the myrrh. Put the myrrh in. <laughs> put it in. Yeah. Wow. Long time ago, I watched a movie in, in, in Ghana, West Africa. That's where I'm from. And the, 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 the title was uh, Love Brewed in the African Port. And you know, uh, African, how they can do some <laughs> concussions and everything. In this port was everything from the two of them, their background put together. That is what I'm seeing. This 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 uh, um this bucket is like a pot with everything that is needed, that is required for this journey into into lordship, kingship, sonship is being put into it. Like the mare, the frankincense, all your gold is all put in it. It's a muti. Say it again. Um, it's it's a medicine. It's like a muti. <laughs> 
Muti is a name for medicine. Oh, yeah, a, a, a tradition. Yeah, African traditional medicine is referred to as Muti in South Africa. Oh, it's the, it's the, it's the heavenly concoction, though. Yeah. So it, 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 this is the uh, this is the pot brewed in the heavenly realms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fire of the shen is heating it up. Uh. Say it again. <laughs> the fire of the shen is heating it up. This morning we saw the shin. <laughs> Michelle. And we saw the fire. And we saw the fire on and the, the fire, yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So is the shin connected to fire? Yes, in, in, in the Hebrews, the, uh, the shin is connected to fire. It's, it's uh, destruction, it's burning, it's... Oh. Well, the shin is also Jesus in the midst of... Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But one, I, I didn't know it was connected to fire. So this one, when we saw the, the fire on the paper, and later on we saw the shin come out as a Hebrew letter, it was the same thing. Yes. Yes, I'm just connecting the dots. <laughs> you see? <laughs> the thing about connecting the dots is that they just go all over everything. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> One thing leads to the next, to the next. It's so true. Oh my! Yes. Come on, Jesus. Her revelation opens up to the fullness for us. Mm -hmm. When, when this bucket is released onto the nations, um, there's a lot in it and a lot will happen and a lot that is needed will be released. But the essence of it would be that there will be hope, hope that will change into faith. Mm. Mm. Yes, and, and, and that, faith, that faith is going to be the spark um, of, of a... I don't want to say revival, but of a, a, a move of, of just a, you know, of, a, of a transformation, whatever word we can throw in there, but it's, it's going to be the start of an amazing reawakening. Amen. Amen. I'm hearing this scripture, hope deferred, made the heart sick. What's, what's the second part to it? Second part, I'm not aware, but I'll quickly see. I think it's Proverbs 13 something. Okay. Thirteen twelve. It says, um, hope deferred, make the heart sick. 
but a, a, a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. So as, as we pour this, it's going to turn every hope deferred into a longing fulfilled. Mm-hmm. And the tree of life is what we saw uh, gives the leaves as the healing for the nations. And the tree of life never dies. You said something on season supply, right? The tree of life is always bearing fruits and yeah. always giving leaves because it's Jesus himself. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Freddie, can you post it in the chat? Okay, I'm going to put it now. The, the good news translation says that um, when hope is crushed, the heart is crushed. But a wish fulfilled, but a wish come true fills you with joy. We uh-huh. saw joy in the beginning. Uh-huh. Amen. We were rejoicing, celebrating. Connecting the dots again. Should we administer this bucket? Yeah, I was just thinking <clears throat> we just take a moment to just, uh, I almost thought of it this way, like dive into the bucket and just let it all, you know, soak into all of us, the things we've said, just give it a moment to soak in more into us and then <clears throat> and then go from there. Okay. I was just feeling myself like just, uh, you know, Falling in, falling into these things. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm feeling like I'm SpongeBob. Mm-hmm. I'm in the water and I'm soaking it all in. And I can be squeezed out. Ooh. You release it through the four chambers of your heart.
Do you feel you have gold all over? <laughs> Uh, Michelle from head to toe. Heidi says, uh, there's no fear to dive in and sink into the river of life. Death and decay is replaced with life. Fear gives way to joy, peace, and laughter. Rust turns into gold, diamonds, and precious stones. <laughs> Amen. The 12 precious stones. on our chest, our mm. breastplates. Mm -hmm. I think Revelation angels will also be involved in releasing and carrying these, these waters. Yes, yes, I see that. You know, and let angels take it to the uttermost parts and to the places hidden away. Yes. Peoples that are hidden away. Let angels take, you know, take these buckets also there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do we feel ready to release it? Uh, Reese says that leaves are sticking on us. Okay. A healing. Mm -hmm. I received that. Mm. Yeah, Michelle, I think we I think we can pull. You mm. what? Um, I think, as you said, we can release it. I think we're ready to pour. Yes, I'm ready too. Is everyone ready? Yep. Three yes, yep. You bet. Yep, yep. <laughs> yes. All right. <clears throat> well, you know, this is the something that we've been shown. So we just honor you, Daddy, Jesus, Holy Spirit. And we are so thankful that we can get to be the fourth corner here um, and be with you and releasing what we've been, we've been shown because our desire for us to experience it, but it's our desire to release it to others. And we're thankful for the angels that will serve and, and carry these, um, these waters. Um, so um, we're grabbing hold on our part. We're grabbing hold with you, Father Jesus and Holy Spirit, in this huge bucket. <laughs> Let's turn it, tip it over. And as we do so, we're tipping it over the whole earth. Ready? One, two, three. And let's tip. One, two, three. Ooh. Mighty Paul. Oh. 
Oh, I see people feeling it, like just feeling it on their heads. Like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm looking around like, what's going on? And laughing. <laughs> yes. I see them rejoicing, like dancing in the rain. I see raindrops forming. I see gold drops falling. I see oil drops falling into the earth. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The, the earth is actually soaking it up. There's yeah. no... Um, Mm. Floods or anything like that. It's amazing. Yeah. I see, I see people seeing these leaves like falling, like noticing these leaves that leaves are yeah. something about these leaves that's touching them. I see these leaves fall. They see these leaves. I see the rainbow of the seven spirits of the Lord all over in different places. I see unusual releases of lightnings, thunders, and rain that weren't expected in the natural, see it manifesting. Mm. I see joy. I see joy in the streets. I see, I see so much laughter. I see we started, I see a ball started rolling of holy laughter. Yes. Rolling from place to place to place to place to place mm. to place. Beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. I'm seeing the creation rejoicing <laughs> that you have done this. <laughs> you know, um, Michelle, as we, as we poured it, I, it was as if uh, the, 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 the earth, the creation was covered with a blanket. You know, I, the yeah. picture I had was a, of a pouring custard over a dessert and you're just, you just know, smothering it. Um, just in this blanket of just deliciousness. Mm. <laughs> yes, the joy of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the revelations that are so tasty, they're like sweet. They're like sweet to the soul. They just nourish the soul. And they break things open and they, and they go down deep and they go into places and they just release the sweetness and, and it's tasty and it's nourishing. Yes, yes. And I see, I see people just rising up and, and coming back. It's like the door is two-way. Now people are being shot up back into heaven. Yes. Through, through the gates. Mm -hmm. It's like a vacuum cleaner. You're sucking them up. Uh -huh. And I see people getting this idea that the law of the Lord is perfect, that the law of the Lord is good that the law of the Lord is something different from what they might have thought it to be because there's no fear in this law. It's perfect. It's good. It sets the glorious boundaries of truth in, in their place. So I see people opening up their hearts and going, the law of God is tasty. Wow. <laughs> the laws of God are tasty. <laughs> Man. I also saw like some of the angels going into hospitals and that uh, I saw the monitors and I saw, uh, you know, the suddenly, oh, look, the blood pressure's come back to normal. Hallelujah. <laughs> the suddenly of the manifest healings. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And, and with that, we agree that uh, it's never-ending supply that was put into that water. That there's the revelation of the never-ending supply. 
There's a revelation of the increase of his government and his peace that will never end. It's a revelation of the knowledge of the glory covering the earth fully. These revelations are, are, um, are um, being seen and heard and felt and known and multiplying. Um, oh, and I hear, I see, uh, I hear, I saw a, like a little boy, I put up his hand and go, I'm a son. Yay. <laughs> I'm a son. <laughs> He's my dad. <laughs> yes, yeah, revelation. They're receiving yeah. the revelation. Yeah, eyes opened. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm getting a sense as if it's a that that it's a, the, the, this this brew that this this whatever is is flowing down roads. Um, you know, like highways and byways. And then it's taking all the little dirt roads and all the little side tracks and going into uh, neighborhoods mm -hmm. and just filling up the streets and then from there going touching the houses. So, you know, it, wherever there's a road network or a rail network or whatever the, the transportation networks are, that this it's following these networks. Those little yeah. footpaths, in, like Michelle said, into you know, these little hidden little clusters or whatever, yeah. um, following all those little footpaths and all those networks. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And the Lord has not forgotten one, and he numbers the hairs on every single person's head. Yes. And our names are written in the palm of his hand. All the names of everyone. Right now I'm hearing Balm of Gilead. Mm. You know, I, I believe everywhere that people are hurting, they're being, it's like a soothing Medicine. Mm. Yes. Yes. Because in my country right now, I believe God is doing something now. Mm. Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm. Mm. So I heard the Lord say, shall you ever lack? Uh, and then I heard the people say, shall we ever lack? And then I heard the people say, no, never. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Abundance. <laughs> oh, things are turning around. The revelation is, is happening. It's happening. Engaging the never ending supply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we just thank you for the harvest of all of this, Lord, that is being harvested. It's, it's, um, there's a result. And there's, there's a, an, a long-term result. There's an everlasting result. <clears throat> and an eternal good fruit rising in the earth. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Amen. Amen. It said, I see hearts turned to, I see hearts turned from dark to light. It says, new unheard of ways. Amen. Um, rivers, waterfalls, raindrops, dew from heaven. Ancient of days is visiting us again here on the earth in the, in the few unheard of ways and dimensions that has not been seen or experienced before. Wow. Amen. 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 Jesus. 